Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full face of Pixie by Petra products. Um, so Pixie by Petra is a UK brand founded in London. Uh, they are a cruelty free brand obviously, that's all I use is cruelty free. Pixie by Petra has skincare plus makeup products but their products are all sort of like your skin but better, low maintenance, fuss free, I woke up like this vibes. So if you're a full coverage queen, love a full glam this video isn't for you but today that's what we're going to be going over and talking about now just a disclaimer this product is in my store Ufabulous but that doesn't mean I can't have an opinion of it if I don't like something or it's not my favorite I'll let you know I'll let you know how I make things work okay so I'm just pretty much going to do a pretty casual uh, makeup look with it because that's what Pixie by Petra is very casual easy makeup look I'll also be telling you a bit about each product as I'm using it so to start with skincare I'm not going to show you all the skincare I use but this is my usual morning routine of what I do every single morning um, when I wake up I wash my face with just with water cool water and then I take my pixie glow tonic now this one here is the small size this is the hundred mils it comes in a larger size which I believe is 250 ml but even though it's only small perfect for traveling as well I've been using this for over a month and it has just reached the halfway mark so what it is is a 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner I am not a fan of toners this toner however given that it's an exfoliating toner I absolutely love it my skin since starting to use this one plus I use the 20% uh, peel pads I've just cut that, I was using them every night and I've just cut them down to twice a week now um, to clear up my breakouts. But my skin, under around my chin I had really bad congestion and it was really like bumpy and you could feel it under the skin. Now my skin is super smooth under the skin. Not, ignore the pimples, they're obviously still there. That's a hormone problem, that's not, nothing to do with how well I look after my skin. So I take this every single morning, this toner, and I put a little bit on a cotton pad. You don't need much. Don't soak the entire thing. That's wasting product. Now I've got fake tan on, so this is going to rip off some of my tan as I do it because it's an exfoliating product. So then I just, staying away from the eye area, wipe over my face with it. Now this is Pixie's probably most famous cult, um, cult favorite product. The glow tonic because it really does make your skin look amazing if you've got sensitive skin you probably aren't going to want to use it it is a little bit stingy it is an exfoliating treatment like it's a chemical exfoliant so you can see that it's ripped off my fake tan <laughs> now the next thing I go in with every single morning is the h2o skin drink pure hydration gel this is just a moisturizer but it's in a gel form it's a very lightweight gel so I do one pump and that's all I take to cover my entire face. Um, it's really lightweight. I use it only during the day though. I put a heavier cream on at night. So I'll just pop this over my entire face. A little bit of this, like one pump, will cover your entire face. And down your neck. And so I do that every single morning. I do that toner. And then I follow it on with the hydrating gel moisturizer if you're someone that hates moisturizers and hates the feeling of them on the skin I recommend this one it is really nice and lightweight and doesn't leave you feeling dry and tight your skin um, it just feels fresh and smooth and hydrated so I love that gel I have been using that non-stop those two together in the mornings the next one is this isn't a pixie product this is what I do every morning so this is just my normal morning routine when I get out of bed I will then take my sunscreen. This is just by the camp, camp. This is just by the cancer council. It says it's not tested on animals. I do like the cancer camp, the cancer council one because they have a specific face moisturizer. This is a new, new formula. They've only just released, it and they also have a tinted one and they have a matte um, face sunscreen. So if you're someone that hates the shine that sunscreens give, get the matte one. And I also like buying and supporting the Cancer Council because sales help to fund cancer research and patient support and education, which I think is super important. So that's why I buy them. Always wear a sunscreen. Every morning you should be putting one on, even if your makeup has it in it, because you need to look after your skin. And I have to. If you're using an exfoliating 
product like a glycolic acid you have to be wearing a sunscreen otherwise your skin becomes really photosensitive and you will get pigmentation always use a sunscreen please now for makeup today this is what i would normally do on a weekend so it's pretty going to be pretty laid back it's perfect for going to the beach it's perfect for um just popping down the shops on a weekend going out for brunch anything like that just very laid back casual look so first i'm going to take the flawless and poreless face primer and it is meant to minimize pores and it creates a velvety finish. I agree with the velvety finish. The pores, I can still see my pores. They're pores, everyone's got them. But I really like this primer, it's really nice one. So I just take a squirt about that much out. Not a lot at all. It's got a bit of a um, beige tone to it. But you don't see it once you put it on. And then I just press it into my skin. And I've explained before. I avoid my nose area primers don't sit well on my nose this is also a very like easy use your fingers sort of makeup look now for foundation this is the h2o skin tint so it's exactly the same as the h2o skin drink it's a gel formula apart from it's a tinted moisturizer so it's a tinted face gel um, this is very low coverage so if you are someone that likes full coverage use a different foundation this is just sort of like adding a little bit of color to your skin and that's it only comes in three shades that's another thing with it they could do with a darker shade but as it's a tinted moisturizer it's not on the same level as a foundation so generally tinted moisturizers can cover a larger range of skin tones in the one um, color this one I really like though it doesn't feel heavy some of them can feel really heavy and because this is the gel formula it's quite lightweight now I've already done this one you don't have to do this one but what I do is when I get up in the morning I immediately do this and my glycolic acid toner and my sunscreen and then I take the kids to school I do other things I walk the dogs then I'll come home and then I'll put this on so and I'll clean my face in between that um, put more sunscreen on and then this so I'm not doubling up on products today obviously I'm gonna be doubling up because I'm showing you on camera what I do this is the second shade which is nude the lighter one is way too light for me uh, especially when I've got fake tan on so I take probably about two pumps of this one just onto a brush or your fingers don't I wouldn't use a sponge with this one because um, a sponge is going to absorb most of it and you're going to be wasting product so I this is probably the only time I use a brush these days or my fingers so I just dot it all over the face first and then I start buffing it in So you can see, I can still see my freckles, my scarring, pimples, all that. That's fine. That's what it's meant to be. I then take whatever's left on the brush and I will run it over my eyes and just under my eyes. Just to give a uniform coverage. So you see that? It just took some of that um, darker tone off my eyes. It doesn't look so bare now. So it gives a little bit of coverage. It says it's buildable. You can add more if you want. It's very dewy looking. Next I'm going to take the Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. This is a peach concealer. So perfect for under the eyes. Any dark tones in the skin. So under eye area, bruising, pigmentation if it's throwing more of that blue purple tone. Peach counteracts the blue tones in the skin. So I'm going to take my ring finger, that's the best finger to apply product with because it does the least amount of pressure on the skin. Now this is quite thick and a little bit will go a long way. So I am just going to press it under my eyes. I'm not going to use a heap of it. This is just to help cover those dark circles. So you can see where I've applied it, it just gives you a nice brightening effect. And it's not like it's a such a crazy colour that you can't wear it on your own. It doesn't look crazy. And then I'll take what's left on my brush 
and just stipple over it. Just to make sure it's all pressed in. Don't rub over it, you're going to rub off anything you just put on. It's going to be a waste of time. Next I'm going to take, they have these awesome concealer crayons. I've got a lighter one for when I'm not tanned and the deeper one for when I am tanned. Again, it comes in three shades, matching shades as the H2O skin tint. Could do with some darker shades, I will say that. Now with these, these are quite thick and they're quite, like, they feel a bit dry to me. I don't like putting them directly under my eyes, like from the stick, because it's too hard and it doesn't blend easily. I put a little bit on my finger, draw a little bit on, and then tap it in. You're going to get a smoother finish. And just keep doing that. These are great to throw in your bag if you've got breakouts that need covering. Easy touch up during the day. I take a little bit over the eyelid as well. So just pressing it in, not rubbing, just pressing. I personally don't draw directly under my eye. I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to be tugging at your eye area. We don't want to tug at the eye area. That's a delicate area, prone to wrinkles. Trying to avoid them as best as possible. Now I'm going to take the darker shade because I've got that fake tan on and I'm going to conceal my breakouts and um, pigmentation. So I'm just going to dot them. Dot it over my breakouts and then press it gently over them. Not too hard. We're not going crazy. Remember we're doing a natural Look today, it's all what it's about. Glowy, fresh skin. And of course I got a brand new pimple, because why not? If you don't have pimples, you don't have to do this. I'm jealous. But I obviously have to. Okay, I'm not covering them all, I'm not doing them heavy. It just gives them a little bit of extra coverage. Next I'm going to use the Sheer Cheek Gel. This one is in the shade Natural. There's three shades. This is the very nat this is like the most natural one and I like this one and I've had these from Becca. I've had them from Napoleon, Purtis. I've had these a lot throughout my life. I love these as a blush. I'm not huge on blush. I like it but too much and I look a bit crazy. So I like just the fact that I can just dab this on and it just gives me just a slight amount of colour. So yeah, I picked the lightest one for me, but um, yeah, there's other levels of tint. And again, buildable. You can see there that it's got a slight bit more colour than the other side. So yeah, just keep working it in until you build it up to the colour that you are happy with. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. You can also use a brush to apply this, um, a foundation brush, to press that into the skin. But that there is enough for me. I'm good with that amount. That's why I get the lightest one. So again, all these feel super light on the skin. I regularly forget I'm wearing any makeup when I have this on. There we go, so that just gives me a little bit of colour just over the cheek area. I'm going to take their Glow Booster. This is a liquid illuminator. This is in the Hello Glow kit, so it's a kit that comes with this, their Beauty Blush Duo, and a mini lip lift. Um, so this Glow Booster is in the shade Peach Gold. It's just going to give you a little bit more illumination over your cheek area. So again, just a tiny bit and dabbing it on. Again, you do not need much. See? Just get a nice bit of glow there. Next, 
Now that we've got all the cream products on, I'm going to take my Colour Correcting Powder Foundation. Um, this is the lighter shade. This is in number one, cream. And it just looks like this. It is just a pressed powder. I prefer pressed powder over loose powders. They also have a loose translucent a loose translucent powder, but I preferred the press. And I'm just going to press this just in the areas that I need it, very lightly under the eyes. I don't feel like it needs a lot of setting. I'm going to take it over the eyes as well so we don't get any creasing when we put eyeshadow on in a minute. And just to knock down some of that shine. Because we don't want to be an oily mess, even a shiny mess. This just leaves your skin feeling very silky smooth, I would say. It's probably one of the better pressed powders that I have ever used. They're just pressing. And make sure you hit any areas where you seem to get a lot of creasing. I'm hitting around my smile lines. And next we're going to take the bronzer. This is the Beauty Bronzer and this is the lighter one. They have two shades. This is Subtly Sun Touch. This is a very light one and it's a pretty good it's a pretty good colour. It does have a sheen to it but it's just going to add a little bit of definition to our skin considering we're not contouring today. So I'm just going to take my angled blush brush and I'm just going to start working that where I would normally bronze the skin, which is like over the cheek area, just to give a little bit of definition, up here on the forehead. And this one is very, very buildable. If you want more of a sort of hardcore bronzer, I wouldn't go this one, I would go your Pony Cosmetics one, but this is like a really nice everyday one. I quite like it. It does have a little bit of shine to it, as you can see up there, so it's not going to look completely flat and matte. I wouldn't suggest contouring with it. It's just more like to get out of it a glow to your skin. And if you're darker than me with a fake tan, I would suggest going the darker shade. It is adding a bit of a glow. I don't mind that personally. Next I'm going to take the Beauty Blush Duo that's also in that Hello Glow kit. So this has got two sides. It's got your blush side and it's got your highlight side. So this one here, this blush would probably make a great highlight shade for anyone with deeper skin tones. For me it's a little bit too dark to use on its own as a highlight. So I use it sort of as a blush topper because it doesn't give a lot of colour. It does have a lot of shine to it. So I just take my angled blush brush and run it over the two sides. And then just take it over my cheeks. And then if I feel like I want a bit more highlight coming from it, I will take my large eyeshadow brush and just dip into that golder highlight side and then take that just on the high points. But it's not like an overpowering crazy highlight, it's quite a natural glow. So again, if you're looking for something full on, don't go this one. I mean, if you look at Pixie by Petra and you look at all the products involved in the range, you sort of get the idea that it's not meant to be a high coverage, full on in your face look. It is that more natural, on the go, I woke up like this and this is just how I look thing going on. Next up, that's the face done. So yeah, see natural, natural glow, we're not hardcore, pretty good. Next I'm going to go on to my eyebrows. I love, love this eyebrow pencil. This eyebrow pencil is so damn good. So it's the Natural Brow Duo. Mine's in the darkest, deep brunette. Now when I first saw it and I saw the gel, I was like, oh, I'm not the biggest fan of coloured gels because I get them everywhere. 
but this is actually a pretty lightweight one so it doesn't have a lot of color to it so you can't even tell really um, that it's a colored gel to me it acts like a clear gel and then this it's one of the triangle tip it's one of the triangle tip um, brow pencils which have been my preference lately I really like the triangle tip brow pencils so I'm just gonna pop this on but this has been like my go-to I love this one the only problem is because most pencils will have a spoolie on one end you have to have your own spoolie don't just draw it on and not blend it so I use this a lot I highly recommend this one I love it and the gel is like a stronghold gel it will not go crazy on me it's good And the colour is like a perfect match of my eyebrow colour. Okay, once we have filled in the brow, I'm going to take the gel and start working it through. It's quite a good size wand on it as well, it's not too big. And just get them into where I want them to get. Yas. So here we've got fab brow, basic brow. Okay, and then I'm just going to repeat the same on the other side. Okay, so brows are on. Could not recommend this eyebrow pencil enough. It is so great. I love it. Um, next up, what we're going to do. Oh, I'm going to align my eye. This is an Endless Silky Eye Pen. It comes in a range of shades. I've got the shade Sage Gold. When I first saw this, I've got... Um, these sort of pencils in other brands they're real hit or miss they can be really dry on the eye area or they can be really nice and creamy thankfully this one here really nice and creamy so I will do this sometimes when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup I'm just going to pop it on my lash line this is a really nice um, khaki green color and then it's got little flecks of um, glitter through it yeah just do this to do a little bit of definition along the lash line so I'll only put it on the outer sort of section, then taking an angle brush and just smudge it out. Do that before any eyeshadow, anything. Just gives you a little bit more definition along the lash line. You can use it to do this with any colour. I like the green. I feel like it really brightens my eye colour. Black's fine, brown's fine. I just really like this colour of this pencil. Okay, so just give it a little smudgy. So you could leave it there, you could do more, we're going to do more, but I really like that eye pencil, one of my favourite, I use it quite regularly, especially by itself, with nothing else just like this, and mascara. Um, next I'm going to take the Pixie by Petra Lid Lovelies, this is Festive Eyes, so it's got mostly shimmers, which some of these can double as highlights, which is good, they're quite small little pans, but that's okay, I don't mind it, you're getting quite a lot of colours. You've got like, one, two, three, four, four matte shades, which happen to actually be really good transition shades. So you got that one, that one, that one, and the one below it. So all really good bases. And you've got a few pops of colours. So you've got your oranges, you've got your purple, you've got your pink, um, and then your shimmer shades. So I'm just going to do a very simple, basic eye look with this. this is what I normally do. So I'm going to take the lightest matte shade first which is that top one up there and I'm just going to run that Wait, did that just get dark on? You tap off the excess see a lot comes off when you tap off the excess we're going to do that now I'm just going to work this in my crease if there's one thing you do with eye makeup if you don't want to wear a lot put something in your crease whether it be a bronzer bronzer is a great double as a crease shade just put something there because it will add definition to your eyes Then I'm going to take just a normal eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into that deeper dark shade here and I'm going to pop that in the outer section. Don't tap off too much but if you don't tap them off at all you're going to get caught out all over your face. Uh, 
now I'm going to take that brush I used for the crease again and I'm just going to make sure that's blended along the top. And then just with my finger I'm going to take one of these shimmer shades. I've been using quite a lot this shade here, um, but today I might take more of this one just below it and I just stuck my finger in it. This one here. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and I'm just going to press that over the eyelid. And then a lighter shade, which I'm going to take this more pinky one down here in the middle and pop that right in the center to brighten. Now these shadows are really soft and smooth. Are they my favorite eyeshadows? No, but the amount of colors you get in this palette and how versatile it is, I do like it. I'm just going to take some of that crease shade that we put on, on that second brush we used, and I'm just going to take a little bit under the eyes. It's important not to forget your under eyes because you want them to be defined as well. You don't want just your tops to have a bit of definition. They also have these double ended eye crayons, crayon combos. So one side has got a shimmery eyeliner, which says it is lighten on this side. And then we have brighten, which is the matte one on the other one. Can you see that? That one's shimmery, that one's matte. These are to go on the inner waterline of your eyes to brighten. So I'm going to use the matte one just in that waterline. It just awakens that eye. Okay, so this is the Lash Boost Mascara. This is in the shade Blackest Black, Blackest Blue. They have Blackest Black and Blackest Blue. I was intrigued by the Blackest Blue shade because it says that it is great for brightening the eyes. Um, the blue color is more like a navy, a navy blue shade. Um, just because tinting eyelashes as a job many years ago, um, blue black was the darkest shade. If you wanted your eyelashes to be super dark, you'd go the blue black over the black. So I want to give it a go. And I actually really like this mascara. It sets down really nice. It doesn't transfer. It stays put all day long. And it's not too heavy on my eyelashes. And I don't know. Like to me I can't tell the difference between a black mascara and this one once it's on. So it could be having a brightening effect. I don't know. But the wand is really good and the formula is really good. So, I like it. It makes my eyelashes look pretty decent. But it's yet yeah, more of a lengthening as opposed to volumizing one. I've got a little bit of mascara there. We're just going to let that sit and we're going to brush that away in a second. So it's the eyes done. I think all we've got left to do now is lips, don't we? Okay, so I'm going to take their Tinted Brilliance Balm. So, and this one is in the shade Baby Bear. These are great for, again, throwing in your bag, on the go, work day. Just tint your lips. And it's got like a uh, peppermint sort of... Um, feel to it and scent which I really like because I like how refreshing it is on the lips it just gives them a bit of color pretty much and these are just wind up like a crayon I give it a little bit of a press in and then pop a little bit more if I feel I need it this will put a little bit of a stain on your lips, so you won't have to be touching up constantly. I really like these. 
I will wear these every single weekend. Guaranteed. See, it just gives you a little bit of colour on your lips. This is probably the lightest one. This is the baby bear one. They've got uh, a way more shows. I think it even goes up to like a ready, a ready tone. And then my absolute favourite thing, favourite lip product from Pixel by Petra is the Lip 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 Lift Max. This is in the shade Honey Sheen. This is the mini one that comes with the Hello Glow kit. These are divine. They're so glossy, but they are not sticky, which is so good because I hate sticky lip glosses and they again have that um, peppermint and it's like they, this one comes in a few colors as well the honey sheen one is just like a nude really it's got a little bit of um, glittery shimmery reflex through it but it's very very comfortable on the lips um, then the last thing I'm going to take is the makeup fixing mist this has rose water and green tea you know me if you've been watching my videos for a while Anything with rose water in it, I'm pretty much obsessed with. I'm going to be getting it. Um, the spray on this is really nice. It's a very fine mist. So I just give it a light. Spritz over the face. They also have a glowing one if you want more of a glowing finish. They also have a vitamin wake up mist that can be also used over makeup, which is just to revitalize and waken up your skin. So my top picks would be from Pixie by Petra, because that's my face done. I think it looks fine. I would go out like this. My pimples are disguised a bit better. You can still see a few little breakouts and stuff. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, it's just a very nice, simple, easy, natural, everyday sort of look. My top picks from Pixie by Petra that I think you need to have would be the Glow Tonic. Absolute must. The, how smooth it has made my skin overall is just great. My makeup sits better. I don't look like it's a cakey mess. My skin doesn't feel as oily. I love it. I live for it. I will never stop using this now that I have found it. I think it's great. Amazing product. I could not speak more highly for that. Um, my other favorites are the Makeup Fixing Mist. Love this. It is a really, really nice um, makeup finishing spray. Love it. The Lip Gloss. I think again. If you love lip glosses, you will love this. It is a really nice, refreshing, lightweight lip gloss. Um, and the mascara is also... Oh, did I say the eyebrows? The eyebrow... The eyebrow duo. Again, great, great eyebrow product. One of my favorites. Highly recommend. And the mascara is also a great one. Love it. Overall, I really like Pixie by Petra products. I don't... They are what they say they are. They're that natural, your skin but better finish. Their skincare, I live for their skincare especially. Skincare is amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed my video today. That is my full face using all Pixie by Petra products. And I think it looks pretty good for a natural makeup day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. See you later.